Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. Where guys, today the laboratory is done again. We now have Max Barch, which is awesome because now my queen's ability is also going to be stronger because she's got better little archers popping out. It's awesome. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do in the laboratory next. I'm pretty sure it's going to have something to do with the next army composition that I'll be using. I haven't decided what that's going to be, so stay tuned. Because the end of the video is going to be kind of interesting, I think. I've got all four builders available. The fifth one is this Dark Elixir Storage. I may or may not drop a couple of gems on this. I haven't decided yet either. Lots to look forward to at the end of the video. Uh, I, I definitely feel as if I've got loads of dark, uh, loads of gold. So let's go handle some of that gold, shall we? I think it's about time for you to make some changes in your life. No, nothing that serious, but have you taken down the Demon Lord yet? Crushed the Ice Golem? Ascended the Doom Tower? Well, now you can get your life in order with Raid. Explore millions of champion combinations and master countless strategies as you take on Raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With hundreds of artifacts to equip and over 500 champions with unique skills, you can design your team, develop them over time, and raid your way to victory. Available on both mobile device and PC. Absolutely my favorite part of this game is collecting the champions. Check out Chinoru. She is literally epic. Like literally. And even better than epic is legendary. Check out this legend, Jintoro. He is an absolute boss. This guy's name is Cardiel, and his face is gold. And he looks freaking amazing. Look at this, he's got wings and everything. This month, Raids just released a ton of amazing clan features and improvements. There are brand new quests for you and your clan mates, new benefits for every clan member just for being in the clan, and even a new clan shop that gives you access to some incredibly powerful items. This month, Raids also got new champions to collect from the fragments in the Doom Tower, and a load of events and competitions to take part in. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is follow the link in the description or scan the QR code right here. New players will get Shinoru, who is amazing in the Doom Tower, by the way, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard you can use to summon a champion. You will find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. And it's that easy. Check out the link in the description and I will see you there. I want this expo. I don't know why. I, I just do really badly. So we're going to do it. We're going to get this expo. Uh, I don't know where it goes. I, let me just see. Let's go ahead and grab this. It's a million gold. I think it's a day, maybe two day upgrade through two on. Bam. Two day upgrade. There you go. So it goes. Let me think for a second. Uh, it goes, I think, right here. Yeah. So let's move this thing. Move this thing and put it right there. Perfect. So the other one will go here where this builder hut is. I put the builder huts there as place make place mats, place mats, place uh, to hold the place. I can't think of the right word. Place mat might not be it, but it's close enough. Okay. It's there as a place mat. Let's put down this builder hut right there for fun. And uh, I've spent my gold. Awesome. I didn't want to go out and raid with max gold. So now let's go smack some bases. Uh, and, and while I'm searching, I'm going to brainstorm a little bit for the next army composition because obviously we can't stick with Barch forever, although I am perfectly happy with using Barch. It's amazing. I've Like I've said, it's like the best strategy, especially for getting elixir. Especially. Not especially. That's not the right way to say that. But uh, w the next army composition, I think, should include healers. That's kind of the direction I'm leaning. Elixir for healers. For the queen. What do you think? Does that sound good? I haven't used a queen charge at such a low level. She's level 5, y'all. Uh, I haven't done that in a long time. I feel like it won't be very effective. But I kind of want to try anyway. Because how often do I have an account with a level 5 queen? Like, never. Never. I never have a queen this low. So, I'm excited to give it a try. I have found a base now. It's not a dead base. You can see this expo has some ammunition. But it's got 700,000 golden elixir. I'm not exactly worried about dark elixir right now. So let's just jump in here and uh, work on this. Now this is a bomb tower. So yeah, that was a little rough. Uh, let's take out this queen now and this king. So we got a very nice little spread. I'm going to poison this king. He's got lots of hit points. Queen already died, so that worked out nicely. Is there any CC? No. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take out this expo too while I am 
scouting this thing. Oh, wow. This king survived. Okay. Why did the king survive? <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. So, barbarians, archers, everything is in. I've, I've done the, the groundwork I needed to get something done. So now, let's go one, two, three, one, two, three. Kind of clearing up these mortars. One, two, three. There we go. What's in my CC? I've got, ah, I've got some sneakies. Nice. So, let's drop a lightning spell on this wizard tower. Ooh! Oh, wow. I forgot. I didn't get that mortar. That was crazy. Uh, let's get the sneakies in here. Let's get the king and the queen. And I kind of would like it if I could get in here and get this dark looks right out of the storage. So, that's kind of the direction I'm aiming here. Uh, sneaky goblins should do a pretty competent job of getting me through a wall or two. So, now the king will follow directly behind. And look at this. Look at these sneakies breaking through this core wall. Look at that. Love it. <laughs> Nicely done, my dudes. I'm going to pop this king's ability. He'll get through this Tesla while the queen works on the dark elixir storage. Perfect. Gotta love it. A, a, a good, nice punch with some sneaky goblins can make a break and attack. It really can. Uh, thank you to my clan mates. I'm going to pop this queen's ability. I don't think I'm going to get through this town hall, but that's okay. I've already got the one star, so it's all good. Nice. Nice. That actually worked out nicely. Uh, 415,000 gold, 470,000 elixir, 1,500 dark elixir. Not bad considering what I'm using. Now, here's the issue. The lightning spells, 163,000 elixir. For the whole army, not just the lightning spells, but like the whole army is expensive. But if I were to go in here to... Oh, I don't have a... Okay, Barch, right? So, 64... So, let's compare the two. Barch without the spells, 64,000. Barch with the lightning spells, 163,000. So, yeah, the lightning spells are 99,000 dark, or 99,000 elixir. Was I saying dark elixir that whole time? 99,000 elixir. So, if I need, like, if there's a real reason to use them, I'm going to. If I don't need it, because it's not going to make enough or whatever, it's not, the uh, the return on investment isn't good enough, then I'm not going to use them. So, just something to think about. Don't You don't always have to use everything that you bring. Okay, <clears throat> so, I've already requested for some CC troops, so let's go back out and check out what I can do with Builder Base. Uh, I've got, let me see, yeah, I need 600,000 elixirs, so let's just go, let's just go destroy somebody. Hopefully this isn't like yesterday's video where I win, and then they beat me by three seconds. I'm still bitter about that. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Baby Dragon's doing a good job, though, they, they, they usually treat me right. Um, this geared up archer tower though with the air bombs an awful combination. Oh my gosh Come on guys. I know I believe in you. You know, I believe in you There we go. Okay, so the air bomb goes down I'm gonna take out this geared up archer tower and let's go ahead and send this battle machine toward the Builder hall, okay, we need that builder hall to go down Everything's looking actually pretty good Actually, things are looking pretty slick. Uh, are there any? No, there's no external buildings or anything. So let's send this guy in this direction toward the crusher. And there you go. There's a three star within 45 seconds. That was pretty good. Let's see how the enemy is doing, the opponent. I think they're already over time. Yeah, they're already over time. So even if they three star, I still win. Boom. That's what's up. See, that's how. That's what we aim for. Every time. That's awesome. Okay, did I get a CC? I did. Hogs and a haste spell. Why? Why haste? I don't get it. I actually, I think I've been requesting for poison. I must have erased it on accident or something. But why would you put a haste spell with hogs? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> That's such a weird combination. I mean, it, it helps to make them faster. But why does, it, with hogs, it doesn't really matter all that much. Anyway, so whatever. I'm still grateful. CC... Even if it's confusing to me. Poison spell would have been better. But I'm cool with it. Whatever. I found a base with loads of dark elixir. And it's actually all... Look at this. It's all in one spot. Look at that. Dark elixir uh, drill, storage, drill, and drill. Oh, baby. Okay. Here. Let's lightning down this mortar. And let's lightning down... Are there more mortars? Well, yeah. Of course there's more mortars. But where are they? There's a bunch of them on the other side. Okay. Here. Watch. Barbarians. Get in there, buddies. I'm going to send them literally all. I'm going to literally send all of them. And then let's send the hogs on this far side. Because there's lots of defenses over there that are kind of brutal. Uh, there's a mortar. One, two, three. Take out that mortar. There you go. And um, now I'm watching and waiting for the next biggest threat. I like to get into the core. So whatever's going to stop me from getting into the core, that's what I want to lightning down. 
So this is a good example of using the the lightning spells, and it actually benefits some way. I'm gonna lightning down all those those Teslas. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, there's actually giant bombs in this base. Look at this base, by the way. Look at these walls. They're level one. So sick. I never see level one walls. Like it's it's kind of fun to watch. But I got all the dark elixir. That was over. That was over six thousand dark elixir, y'all. It's a lot. It was a lot of dark elixir. I'm not gonna three star this. There's still lots of. Uh, Lots of splash damage, but I think that we did pretty well. I think we did pretty well for ourselves. Look at this, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, so close. Well done, guys. Well done. That was really close. Um, air defense will go down, and then we're maybe we'll get a little bit of elixir out of this collector. Not much. And that group's dead, too. Okay. Good try. Good job. I enjoyed that. So with that loot bonus, 480,000, no, 475,000 gold, 340-something thousand elixir, and 6,550 total dark elixir. That was a lot of loot. That was a good amount of loot. All right, so let's go into my progress base. I've got a building I need to lay down. Apparently, it is an expo. Uh, here, I'm just going to put you right here. It's not in the right order, but it's close enough. All right, so now uh, we need to make some decisions, first of all, with the laboratory. So like I said, I think I want to try Queen Charge. So if I start off with a stronger healer, it'll make up for the fact that the Queen's not going to be very good. So let's go and upgrade this healer. Unless, let me back up. Let me think about this really quickly. I'm not going to use a Goblin Knife or anything just for a little while. Uh, Lunian would be really good. It's an overall good strategy. So upgrading the balloons would be good. Plus the level 6 balloons, way better than level 5. So balloon might be a good one too. Uh, dragons are good, but I don't care to use them for that. Uh, lightning spell. Been using a lot of those, so that might be good. Healing spell. If I bring in some hogs, I'm gonna need some healing spells. Uh, jump spell, free spell, both of those would be super useful. And then, of course, all the dark elixir troops. Um, I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna upgrade the healers. I want to try the queen charge. And uh, no one does better queen charges than with the healer, right? Uh, there's uh, other options like the unicorn. <laughs> could use that. Not at Town Hall 9. Or uh, heal spells. Not near as good. So let's upgrade these healers. 3 million elixir. 4 day upgrade. 3, 2, 1. Bam. All right then. 4 days. We can start trying to use some queen charges. And that would be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know what else I'm going to use with the queen. Maybe uh, like a bunch of uh, giants and a bunch of uh, wizards. That might be fun. That might be fun. I need to upgrade both of those, by the way, giants and wizards. But, you know, hey, we're there. We made it. We're good. Now, Dark Elixir. Let's think about that. So the queen is 16,000. The king is 23. So that's 39,000. So that's a lot. That's a lot of Dark Elixir. I think that using, continuing to spend the Dark Elixir is a smart thing to do. So let's upgrade the king, level 14, 23,000 Dark Elixir, 3, 2, 1, bam. And then queen, 16,000 Dark Elixir, 12 hour upgrade, level 6 queen, 3, 2, 1, bam. There we go. That's good. I don't want to max out my, my storage, so I just I keep spending that stuff. That's good. And I've got one builder left, and I know what I want to do with it. I want the other expo. I know, I know. The other air defense would probably be super smart, or maybe even the other sweeper. But I kind of just, I, I want the expo. Darn it. <laughs> That's what I want. So I'm getting it. One million gold. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Is it one million or two? It's one million. That means I've got five million spare gold. Plus some of the treasury. So let's upgrade some walls. 3.5 million. There we go. And I can do another 2.5 million. Not 2.5 million. Bomb bad. Oh, I accidentally upgraded. <laughs> meant to cancel <laughs> ah good thing I've got a backup plan I've always got a backup plan this is why this is why I don't collect my treasury because stuff happens there you go I I accidentally bought too many walls but that's okay it's okay uh wall progress is good wall is good progress right so now I'll get the expo and uh then I'll have both this is awesome three two one bam nice I've got some spare elixir or whatever I decide to use it on. And then I've got plenty of gold. I mean, not plenty. A decent amount of gold to do some searching. And uh, enough Dark Elixir to be prepared for next time. So, there you go. We got our Expos. Both of them, actually. And, let me show you where this one's going to go to. I've already got the one Expo uh, going in right there. Let's remove these three things and put this guy right there. Perfect. 
Uh, I'm gonna put the bomb right there, I guess. I'm gonna put the spring trap right there. So we got everything in there. No, not the best spots. Don't judge me on the spots, but at least now my expos are in the right spot. There you go. So we got the expos and both heroes upgrading and a laboratory. So today was awesome, highly productive. I'm cool, I'm happy with what happened. Uh, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications and don't forget to use code Klaus. Remember, I love each and every one of you and I will see you all again next time.